Hi Sagittarius, how are you? Welcome to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma, and thank you so much for taking the time to click on this video and come to my channel. If you're new, please make sure you like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you are returning, thank you so much for your support. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 2021. Let me, I'm just trying to get this palo lit here so that we can cleanse and then I'll start my blessing. There we go. So I have two candles here for my candle line, Find Your Light. Um, if you're interested, you can find the link to my Etsy page in the description box below. My candles are healing prayer candles. They are designed to help you heal, maintain uh, chakras, sorry, um, chakras as well as certain traumas that you may be dealing with. So the first candle I have here is Clear Parent. This candle will help aid in the uh, recognizing, releasing, and healing of mother-father wounds, okay? So all candles are made with soy wax, essential oils, as well as crystals. The essential oils and crystals within and on top of these candles um, are specific to what you are working on and what you need to heal. Each candle will also have a scripture verse that you can uh, meditate and pray on as lighting to help activate the candle. The second candle that I have here today is Clear Mind. This is for your crown chakra, helping to focus your thoughts, remove any anxious thoughts, okay, worries, and replacing those with more positive aligned thoughts, okay? Um, so if that's something that you're interested in, there are six candles currently available on Etsy. A seventh candle will be coming out uh, towards the end of June. That will be for the throat chakra. But with that being said, <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get started, Sag, and see what we have for you guys uh, for June. All right. So let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and start with my blessing. Mother, Father, God, Holy Spirit, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Sagittarius. Sun Moon Rising and Venus in regards to their current life journey, life situation, and life cycles. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and perspective on what soul lessons and soul cycles they may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua name I pray, amen. All right, let's take a look and see what we have, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, I'm really keep thinking about Pisces for some reason while I was shuffling. Some of you may be dealing with the Pisces or maybe you're going through something. Ah, it was because of that eclipse in Sagittarius recently. That could be what it is as well. You know, because the moon card represents Pisces and Tarot. So you may have really been experiencing um, some tower moments, okay? Some releasing of things since that lunar eclipse a few days ago at the end of May. You could also be dealing with the Pisces, Sag, okay? Maybe you have Pisces in your chart. Not sure why spirit is making me think of Pisces so much. Let's see what we have for you. Eight of Pentacles to start. So you're very, very focused on something. Ace of Cups is your energy right now. You are looking for love. The Magician, Ace of, wow, a lot of new beginnings here. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. Ah. Ten of Pentacles. So overall energy here in the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Cups. A lot of dreams and fantasies coming into reality right now. I feel like you might be trying to ground yourself, right? Trying to pick which direction you want to go. A lot of things are up in the air. A lot of things are still in the thought realm and you're needing to grab an idea, grab um, a thought, and turn it into reality, but how do I do that? That's what you're wondering. There's there's somewhere you wanna take a relationship to something or a situation to a different level and you're not sure how to do that. Forgive me as I sip 
my 7-Eleven coffee. Okay, so the current situation is the Eight of Pentacles. Again, a lot is up in the air. A lot of what's up in the air has to do with past decisions, okay? Um, things that may or may not have brought you a lot of stability, things that didn't go right, and you're trying to perfect something. You're trying to look at what went wrong. I do feel like some of you are kind of like tiptoeing on eggshells here because you don't want anything to go wrong. You don't want to say the wrong thing. You're wanting to finally get something right. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles, please. Eight of Pentacles. What is the Eight of Pentacles here for Sagittarius' current situation? Three of Wands. Okay, so you're in planning mode. Yeah, how do I get this right? And here's the set. Wow. Here's the Seven of Cups with the Eight of Pentacles again on the bottom. So how do I do this? You're in planning mode. You're trying to bring down all these dreams, all these goals, and you're taking them from the thought world and from your mind, and you're trying to build it, create it, manifest it. But with this three of wands here, you also realize you might have to wait. You have to wait for certain things to come your way. You're waiting for certain ships. Some of you could be waiting for a new job opportunity, okay, with these pentacles uh, or an offer coming in, okay? Something that's gonna keep you focused. I feel like Sagittarius, I'm getting this energy of somebody who's very restless. Like you haven't, you don't like just sitting still, okay? And I feel like maybe that's what you've been doing. Of course, we all have this past year because of COVID. But um, you're planning your future, and I, and, I, and I really admire that about you because I feel like you're really putting in the details. You're really wanting to make a change. Your feelings towards this connection or this situation is the Ace of Cups. You're ready to dive in. There's a lot of emotions here. There's a very strong connection with this person. This person brings you a lot of joy and happiness. Tell me about this Ace of Cups for Sagittarius towards the connection, please. Four of Pentacles. You don't want to let this person go, but you are keeping this to yourself. Do you, I don't know if you express to this person how you feel or you're, you're keeping your emotions to yourself because you're worried that maybe the person will walk away. You don't want to, you don't want to be too vulnerable. So you're keeping some things close to your chest. Okay, you may be dealing with financial issues right now as well, Sagittarius. Again, like I said, waiting for that new beginning, waiting for something to come in. I do see tiptoeing still. You're worried about saying the wrong thing here or about making something go in the wrong direction. Tell me about the magician for the other person's energy. The other person is ready to go. They're in their power. Mm, they might be manipulating with words. Or this something was said to this person and they're turning it into something that it wasn't, okay? Because there is some hesitancy here, thinking about things that were done in the past. Tell me more about the magician. No, no. Tell me about the magician with the five of swords for the other person's feelings and thoughts towards Sagittarius, please. Yeah, it's about an offer. I feel like somebody might be getting the other person's words confused or there was an offer or some type of information, valuable information that was brought forward or a gift, something, and this person is turning it into something that it's not, like making a bigger deal out of what was or wasn't said. I feel like there was something that was left out, valuable information that was left out, um, and this person's kind of turning it into something that it doesn't need to be, if that makes sense. And it's, it's putting everything on pause putting everything on pause right now in this connection. There is some pain connected with what was or wasn't said, okay? That will resonate for you, however. Um, and the challenge between you and this person, Sagittarius, has been the forgiveness, has been the healing with this Ace of Wands. I feel like you guys keep trying to start over and bring back that passion 
that fire, that flame, and it hasn't been sparking lately, but yet neither one of you are willing to let go. Neither one of you are willing to let go and you're not willing to walk away. So that means you have to find a way to work it out because you guys clearly want to be with one another or else you would have cut the cords. Tell me about this Ace of Wands for the challenge, please. Why is the Ace of Wands here as a challenge? Ace of Wands, please, is a challenge. Queen of Swords. So, again, something that was difficult as far as communication, a truth that came out, okay? Um, and I do feel like this is something that lacked emotion. Like, somebody just wanted matter of fact. Tell me exactly what it is, what happened. Um, they want the details. They may have been coming off as very cold, very distant nonchalant and it made somebody feel as though they weren't being taken seriously okay or this apology wasn't enough like this person wanted more than an apology but what more could have been given of whether that's you or the other person for some of you the challenge was that an apology wasn't given and it needed to be <clears throat> I also feel like somebody has way too many expectations of how this should go, of how a connection should go. And because it's not, it wasn't meeting up to exactly what they thought, the challenge was restarting because they couldn't, they couldn't let go of certain perceptions and views that they had that were very outdated. Okay, we have the 10 of wands here is what's gonna happen next. So there are some heavy issues within this connection. Um, things that have created a burden or stress, okay, that have become too heavy to bear. And because they've become too heavy to bear, there's a decision that's going to be made here about releasing the burdens and moving forward. And for some of you, you're going to find a way to do that together. For others of you, releasing the burden is releasing the person. Tell me about this Ten of Wands, please, for the next steps of action for Sag. priestess yeah trusting one's intuition i feel like more information is needed you don't know everything that was going on you don't have all of the the answers yep and here's the 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 two of swords not everything was shown or expressed so there's still something that was hidden here. And I feel like once that's released or once that's known, there's a need to really trust within yourself, trust the intuition, trust the divine. And when you do that, you shift in from this 10 of wands into the 10 of pentacles. So I see a cycle ending and a new beginning for you. 10 of pentacles is giving me the treasure chest vibe. So you do get what you want. The end result is very prosperous, very um, prosperous, sorry, and very abundant. Let's look a little bit more at this real quick. Tell me more about this Ten of Wands with the High Priestess, please, Holy Spirit. Why is the Ten of Wands and the High Priestess here? This person's making a move solely based on guidance and, and, and wisdom that they've received from the divine towards you. That's what I'm receiving. This person definitely feels a strong um, connection to you. Yeah. So they do want to, they do want this to be, you know, and here we go. So where the challenge was this Ace of Wands, this reconciliation, this forgiveness, they decide to trust their heart and they accept the apology or they give the apology and there's that spark coming in and here's the Eight of Pentacles. So let's work on this connection. Let's blend together our family. It comes as a surprise to you, but this person finally says, okay, I'm all in. Okay, I'm all in. Let's take action together with the Queen of Wands. Um, let's take action together. This is somebody who's very, very loyal. Okay, Gemini energy on the table as well. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles for the outcome. For Sagittarius, please. Look at that, Sag. Soulmate union. Here it is, coming back. 
where you have been working and wondering and thinking that something was over. It is not over. Judgment is here. Somebody's had a wake up call and they're on their way back to this. This is gonna be a higher commitment. This is gonna be the type of connection. Um, that, <laughs> and there's that Ace of Wands again. So that passion is coming back. That fire is being relit and they're moving very, very quickly towards you. So there could be a distance between the two of you um, as far as living arrangements. Um, but Sag, they're on their way back and they're wanting to turn this into the next level. So this could even be some type of marriage um, or maybe moving in with each other or just wanting the next level commitment, okay? Um, overall energy again, seven of cups with the stars. So healing, wow, with the empress. Yeah, this is a divine connection. Very positive things, nine of cups here um, and the knight of wands. Very positive things coming your way, Sag. All right, darlings, I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you guys soon. I hope all is well and have a wonderful June.